a pair of AL clubs. We'll see the Kansas City Royals on the road as they play against the Chicago White Sox. You're watching 2K Sports. The White Sox call this one home, U.S. Cellular Field in Chicago. A look at Carlos Quentin, no doubt getting ready for some offensive punch. It's looking like what you've been waiting for. 2K Sports and Major League Baseball, a September showdown. The starting pitching, we'll see Jared Washburn. Stevie gets going here against Kansas City. What do you think we're going to see from him? Uh, Jared Washburn out on the mound in this one. You get a chance to watch the crafty left-hander do his work. Sponsored by Pepsi. We'll see what. what? And we got Pierre batting. It was a loss last time out for the Royals. In a three-game series after you drop those first two, now is the time against the White Sox. Well, they hit a little bit of a mini skid here right now. They've dropped their last three games. Looked like a cutter that time for a called strike. These skids are okay if you can keep them in the mini department. They just don't want it to go on much longer. Swing and a soft liner up the middle. And the leadoff man's on board. You love the now offense when it gets going that way. And now's a good time right to take a brief look how the White Sox stack up defensively. I like Steve for these fielders. Joe Creedy has great reactions in the hot corner, Gary. He gets great instincts to be able to move, glove the ball, and a strong, accurate arm. First pitch inside, ball one. Well, here's the talk of the last game. Four base hits in that one, and a lot of confidence building around him right now. 1-0 pitch, a curveball. That breaks outside, 2-0. Washburn set and swung on hit and the Jesus picks up the single the throw he is safe at third base ahead of that play number 16 RBI let's see if Billy Butler can get it swings hits this one in the air down the right field line and that one gets through Butler knocking in a run well, this guy's helping his team get off to a good start. Not only does he drive in a run here in the first inning, but now he can also make something happen with his legs. RBI chance for Rick Ankeel. Getting out in front any time of the ball game, you want to do that. Now you try and build on it. Well, that's a good piece of hitting right there to take an early lead this game. Fouled off that first pitch, and it's 0-1. It's very early, so it may not stand up, but uh, far better to be playing with the edge. Well, that's right, Gary. I mean, they're going to try to use that edge to add. The Jesus around third, headed for the plate. And the Jesus is home. Now batting for the Kansas City. Well, Lord. Steve, they won't get the RBI Second on this, but they'll give themselves 13. a better chance of getting a run. Third well, moving the runners first. up, that's what you have to do. Make productive outs. And now time is called. This is going to be the first time we've had a visit to the mound. Well, it's going to be a conference time, Gary. They might not take him out here, but it's pretty likely they're going to make a change soon. And maybe stalling for time. One out man on first. Washburn set and delivered. Oh! That one misses. It gets away from the catcher. Now he's going to run for second. So they can't make the play. But Gary, to make the error right there, you just don't want to do that. It's just not good baseball. The 1-0 pitch. Smash towards the middle. And it's caught by Ramirez. And so we get our first two runs in the first. Offense getting going early. KC has the lead. Two to nothing. And the starter for Kansas City. And he gets going against these White Sox hitters. What do you think's in store? I'll get a chance to watch Kyle Davies out on the mound. But for the manager, you have to keep an eye on him. Throwing strikes is critical. He doesn't throw strike one enough, and when he falls behind in the count, he can give up the long ball. When he works ahead, it allows him to use a sequence of pitches effectively. And he's on. That's a nice way to jumpstart your offense. Damon heads the third. And he'll stop at third. That's a three bagger. Well, I was already to mark this down on the card as a double. Put another line in there. Well, he didn't let up at all, Gary. Great effort on his part. Took a chance, but he made it. The amazing thing is he was able to do it standing up. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Right there in the top five in home runs. And he'll step on the back. That'll be the first out. And the run comes in. 
Lineup for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. Any of these bats stand out, John? Well, when you think of Paul Canerco, you think of reliability. He's a guy that year in and year out you can count on, and he produces for you. And in this game today, they are definitely going to count on him to do some big things. And don't be surprised if he comes through. And it's caught. Play by Anderson. Two away. Number 20, Carlos Quentin at the plate for two away. Swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0 and 1. Well, one of the things you have to do is when a pitcher makes mistakes, you have to make him pay for it. And twice last game, he did exactly that. Got pitches he could drive and took it over the wall. Big swing and a miss. Carlos Quentin goes down swinging. So Kyle Davies, he's out of the inning. Some damage done against him in the first inning. He's got to find his control. And coming up, we'll see the Royals. Looking to the lineup, six, seven, eight hitters on their way to the plate. Afternoon at the ballpark, pleasant, cool day. Number 30, Mike Avila. Avila's at the plate. He'll start it off here in the second. First pitch, and he misses the fastball. Strike one. No balls, one strike. Washburn towards center field. Rios will field as he hauls it in. And mark your calendars. This Friday, we'll see Evan Longoria and the Tampa Bay Rays. They play host to the Los Angeles Angels. That one's scheduled at 7.30 Eastern. Hey, Gary, do you think John will buy us dinner in town that time we go watch that ball game? Strike Call it strike on the outside corner, 0 1. Lifetime, 2 for 19 off Jared Washburn. Strike, strike two. 2. Jordan doesn't like to get behind here. See what he does with the 0 2. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. That retires Gordon. Fielder, number 32. And we've got Anderson batting. Two outs and nobody on. Right. Fastball in there for a called strike. The hitter lays off this pitch realizing you can't do much. When you get that kind of four-seam fastball, down and away, it's tough to hit. Fielded by Ramirez. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. It's the kind of inning the defense likes. Three up, three down. And Beckham's in the box. He's going to start the second for the home team. Number 15, Gordon Beckham. There's a swing and a smash. And it's caught. Play by Anderson. Center fielder. One up. And Alex Rios at the plate. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. All the way to the wall. There's the throw. Rios towards third base. And safe, able to get in. Such a consistent, productive, professional hitter. Now one of their best bats in the lineup here. Chance to drive it a run, A.J. Pruszynski. One of the best batting averages in the league. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. But Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate. Day in and day out, that consistency is critical to their success. Davies with a strike. Good pitch. Well, what an unbelievable pitch right there. He starts it off the... Hard ground at a short. Avilas. So Brzezinski retired. And so he comes home. That ties the ball game. Well, they get the out at first on this play, but the run does come in to score. And Joe Creedy in the box. Well, this offense showing they are definitely able to get back into a ball game. Uh, Gary, that was a great piece of hitting right there. It allowed them to pull it even here early in the game. Nice response. Davies with a strike. Good pitch. 
And you get a feeling early on this uh, ball game is up for grabs. This could be anybody's. Well, it's certainly going to be a battle. I don't think there's any question about that. You have to keep it close, especially with this guy on the mound. That's why. It's Trey Hillman you're looking at. His ball club tied up right now. Lots of baseball to go, though. And that finds the outside corner for strike one. He's just popping that glove with that four-seam fastball, pounding the strike zone. There's a swing and a line drive. I am able to pull that one. Here's that race in the Central Division brought to you by State Farm. Season in the home stretch now. It's the White Sox in first. In second place, it's the Royals. Third place goes to the Indians. Twins are fourth. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. And it's Juan Pierre now. He's the league leader in stolen bases. Washburn. Throw is not in time, and that will be an infield single. And that's going to bring David DeJesus up. Well, I tell you, this, this makes the game exciting for me. The strategy that comes into play with a guy like this on the bases means one of the best base dealers around. Swung on line softly to right. And that one is in there. His second hit today. Kansas City gets a shot at it right now. Well, even though they lost their last game, he had four hits in that game. And I tell you what, there's not a pitch he can't handle right now in the box. He's seeing everything well, and he's putting it in play. And good thing. Oh, and they're going to try for the double steal. Oh, man, the double steal worked as he beat the throw. Washburn set and delivered. And that's a strike. Billy Butler's going to have to be in a defensive mode in this at bat. I don't think he's going to waste any time right now. He's just going to go right at him with that old two. Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as K. Well, it keeps the runners right where they are. So now he's just an out away from working his way out of danger and keeping this game tied. And here's Rick on Keel. Big time offensive production last game out there. Three RBIs in that one. And I think some real momentum coming into this game. Line to right. And in there, the Royals will get a run. And the Hayser scores as well. So the rally here energized every new opportunity they take advantage of. Diaspo at the plate, getting out in front. Any time of the ball game, you want to do that. Now you try and build on it. Well, you have to credit this lineup, Gary. It's some quality at bats right now and taking advantage of the opportunities, and now they have a lead. Lined up the middle, and that one's put away to retire the side. They pick up two, three hits, strand a man. Kansas City's got the lead now. It's going to be Tomei now. Designated hitter, number 27, Jim Tomei. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch, 0-1. Four for 12, career hitter against Kyle Davies. And that's a strike. Tomei's going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Had a big shot last time out. Swinging the bat Whoa. very well. Took advantage of a pitcher's mistake. He had good patience at the plate. Got a pitch he could drive. Here's the delivery. Swing and a miss on the breaker. One down. What's well, a huge breaking ball at 78 miles per hour. And it's Johnny Damon. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored. Top five. First pitch on the way to Damon. Fastball swung out a miss. Stowing one. Just a solid offensive player day in and day out. A guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. Davies with a strike. Good pitch. I well, clearly fooled him right there. He had him thinking fastball, and he pulled the string on it. Got him a swing right through. Swing and a miss. Struck him out with a breaking ball. Two down. It seemed like he made it easy. Three pitches, a big strikeout. Can't get rid of a guy any quicker than that. Only took three, and he's gone. And a shot here for Alexi Ramirez. Two down. And one of the league's most prolific hitters in the top five. He's hacking at the ground on that one. That ball is a strike. On the way. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Now teammates got to be feeling pretty good about him right now coming to the plate, knowing he's coming off of his last game when he hit a three-run home run. Hot shot towards the hole. And he'll step on first to retire the side. So Kyle Davies gets... Avila's at the plate. 
shortstop number and 30, the first pitch Mike Avila fastball is in there it's 0 and 1 a good life on this fastball as he just buries it down and away and this is bounced foul to the left side Fastball in there, called third strike. One out. Boy, a nice looking set of pitches that time. He didn't daddle around with the strike zone. Well, nothing wasted, just three pitches over the plate, sits him down. And it's Alex Gordon now. Ground out victim last time through. First pitch on the way to Gordon. That's it, foul by Gordon. No balls, one strike, Washburn. Strike two at the knees, nothing and two. When you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. Swung and a ground ball to third. That retires Gordon. Let's take a look where the Kansas City Royals run right now in the American League. Third in strikeouts, fourth in stolen bases, and an offense that's in the top ten in triples. That ability to drive the ball into the gaps is a real asset for a club, but also that speed and aggressiveness to turn them into triples. And we've got Anderson batting. He's gone one for four in his career against Jared Washburn. And he'll step on first to retire the side. And they're held in check here in this half inning. Royals four, White Sox two. And if you are just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne along with John Crux, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. And Paul Coderco to lead it off. He's the league leader in ribbies. Pitch on the way. Hit sharply towards the hole. And a look at the hitters, the on base percentage leaders for the month, courtesy of State Farm. Getting on base is a philosophy, it's a mental state, it's a really an approach. And these guys understand that. They understand they have to do whatever they can to get on. They have the toughest at bats of any hitters in the major league. That's going to bring Carlos Quick. There's a swing and a liner towards first. And that gets the tying run on board. Danarco's heading for third. Now breaking down Carlos Quick the season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. Number first in batting average, first in hits. And he's also leading the league in home runs. That power bat, that ability to hit it out of the ballpark, a major power threat every time he comes to the plate. Such a consistent, productive, professional hitter. You know, one of their best bats in the lineup, Gary. Swings on that first pitch, misses the hot shot towards the hole. And Canarco will score. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. Number 51, Alex Rios. Well, now after giving up three straight hits, the manager has to start thinking about getting somebody up in the pen. And he starts Rios out. A fly ball. What Quentin around third, headed for the plate. And Quentin's on. A good piece of heading. He wanted to advance the runner. He got the ball up in the zone, got it in the air, and the runner advances. That pitch was up in the zone, and he got underneath it and drove it far enough to move that runner. Now, he would have liked to hit, but it was a productive out. It's going to be Przinski. Now, Steve, this offense, you want momentum going your way? It looks like they've got it. Uh, Gary, that was a great piece of hitting right there. It allowed them to pull it even here early in the game. Nice response. Strike started off the at bat 0 and 1. And you get a feeling early on this uh, ball game is up for grabs. This could be anybody's. Well, it's certainly going to be a battle. I don't think there's any question about that. You have to keep it close, especially with this guy in the mound. That's why this at bat is critical. Chicago White. Well, he finished that one off with a strikeout. Nice pitch. You know, what I like about this is on 0-2, he didn't mess around. He didn't try to nibble to get him chase off the plate. He goes right at him and just gets the strikeout. First pitch, fastball, 0-1. His fourth time around, he's gone one for three off Kyle Davies. The pitch. Swing sends this one on the line to right center. That one in the alley. This could be two or more. There's the throw. And he's going to try for it. 
and he crosses the plate all the way from first base. Well, the rally here energized every new opportunity they take advantage of. Here's what that double has done. A look at our Pepsi WPA graph. Two outs and a runner on second. Tomei gets in. Here's the first hit up the middle. And another hit. They're really gunning right now. Greedy's trying for the plate. Yes, a great situation for some offense. Well, two hits the last game, and you can see he was getting a little confidence as that game went on, and he's carrying it into this one with another good start. They've decided it was time to make a change here. And it's Johnny Damon. Great season, top ten in RBI. Plays off the call, strike of the knees, 0-1. He's getting it done all season long, Gary, and a guy they're really looking to count on. Hit hard on the ground to short. Throws to first side is retired. A strike for five base hits in this inning and three runs up. The White Sox leading now. They've got the momentum. And Kendall's in the box. Number 18, Jason Kendall. Here's the first pitch. Swung on and a grounder to first. And that's out number one, stepping on the back. And it's Juan Pierre now. He's the stolen base leader in the American League at the moment. One out, nobody on. Now Brzezinski positions himself. A smash towards the hole. And Conerco makes the catch. Gary, you know, he's settling into a groove right here. That's six in a row that he set down. First count on DeJesus. Here it comes. Swing, liner, back up the middle. And that is in there. The tying run is on base. So that brings up Billy Butler. Well, he's having himself a day right here in this one. Two out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. First pitch is on the way to Butler. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. Getting it done once again, Jared Wash. Once again, taking a look at you right there. Last inning, that pitching gave up nothing. That's what he wants to see. Now looking for the offense to try and expand the lead. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Top five AL in run scored. Perfect. There's no justice in this game. When you hit it that hard, you should get a base hit. But he hit it right at the shortstop, and unfortunately, he's back to the dugout. And Paul Canerco to bat. He leads. Swings. Hits this one. Very high. In the air. Deep left center. Tell it goodbye. They'll take that one run homer. They need that. Now the lead is two. Well, you know, he went through his pitch selection, decided to go with a two-seam fastball, and clearly the wrong pitch, home run. White Sox lead expanding here. Gary, they just keep getting big hits. Right fielder. Number 20. First pitch to Quentin. Swings and misses at the fastball. 0-1. Oh and yeah, we, we talk about how a hit or a home run can be critical at certain points in the ball game. You just saw it. Uh, now you have to wonder how long the manager is going to stick with this pitcher as he's given up the lead. Putting a little padding on the lead. Solo shot up by three. Uh, Gary, this offense has just been in control right here. Extending the lead, going to make it much more difficult to catch him later. And the first pitch. Sinker swung on, missed 0 and 1. He swings down and really hit that. That's going to one hop off the wall. He'll hold there at second base. Credit him with a double. It doesn't matter who's on the mound or what they're throwing. 
These guys can hit it. They are just together building confidence and whacking at it. And Alex Rios up. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the lead. The pitch. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. Well, looking for a bounce-back performance today. Some disappointment after last game, striking out twice. He swings and drives this one. Anderson will field. Two away. Two down now. No advance in that runner at second. This is the list of the production for the month. The RBI leaders, courtesy of State Farm. All of these guys have one thing in common. With the game on the line, with runners on base, they come through in the clutch and deliver and drive in the big runs. It's going to be Krasinski. And for RBIs, he's one of the best in the league. The last one just got away from him. Now that unwanted base run. That'll bring Joe Creedy up. You'd love to see how Joe Creedy's career would have played out if he didn't have so many back. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. Anderson will field. And the side's retired as they head into the dugout. So they get the long ball working as they have two solo homers in this half of the inning. White Sox. Leadoff hitter Rick on key. He had a two-run single in his last appearance. Now they're trailing in this one despite the fact he's driven in three runs. Washburn set and delivers. Fielded by Ramirez. And that will retire on Keel. Diaspo at the plate. Yesterday, White Sox picked up the win. They've been in control after winning game one of the three-game series against Kansas City. Oh, this club's just lost one of their last ten ball games. You talk about a hot team. This is it. Watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike. And that one loss came on the road. This right now is a very tough team to beat. Well, when you win on the road, you have to have everything working, especially the pitching and the defensive oh. end. But what you have to do offensively, you have to cash in when you get scoring opportunities, and they're doing it. Hit in the air to left center. Into the alleyway. He'll likely get extra bases on this. Now heading to third base. Now batting for the Kansas City This one was all about speed as he went diving into the bag. Well, he goes diving into the bag, and I'm not sure whether he meant to do it or he was just out of gas and it was a lunge to get in safely. And the first pitch towards the middle. Washburn over to Conerco. Two down. Four. These are the kind of moments where young hitters like Alex Gordon can win over their teammates and fans, Gary, hoping to try to continue some momentum off of his last game. When he Line shot into center field. And in there, the Royals will get a run. Chances coming here by the Bushels Bowl for Kansas City. Well, the hitter makes an adjustment going down on the pitch at the bottom of the strike zone and drives it here. And you get a run scored if you're in that at bat. What you want to do is make contact. He did. That pays off. And we've got Anderson batting. Right now, looking better for this ball club. This is what they needed. Just chink away here and get back into this thing. Now, Gary, that hit right there could prove to be a key at bat in this game. They've just narrowed the deficit. That was a big one. And what you've done is you've put a little question mark in the opponent's mind here. All of a sudden, it's not their game. Washburn set and delivers. Ground ball towards second. Throws to first side is retired. Jared Washburn coming off the mound. He has the one run given up over six and some run support to boot. And it'll be the White Sox. End of the order. A crisp day here at the ball yard. Temperatures might be dropping a bit later on towards the evening. Tome gets in. Here's the first delivery. We get around in time. All one. Now teammates got to be feeling pretty good about him right now coming to the plate, knowing he's coming off of his last game when he hit one out of the ballpark, taking advantage of the pitcher being in trouble. Here's the pitch. That ball is belted deep to left center field. Ball is on its way. Tell it goodbye. Putting a little padding in the lead. Solo shot up by three. Now White Sox.
Sox lead expanding here. Gary, they just keep getting big hits. Number no eight, and nobody on base. Johnny Damon. First pitch on the way to Damon. There's a swing, line drive, center field, and he can't get to it. That's going to one hop off the wall. He's in there at second base, still no one away. Well, you talk about a guy who put a great swing on an unbelievable pitch, lowing in the strike zone exactly where the catcher wanted it, but the hitter just beat him on that one. It's 0 and 1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. The pitch can't catch up with that swing and a miss, and it's now 0 and 2. Here it comes. A smash towards the hole. Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. Well, now he surrendered three straight hits. He's got to bounce back and get this guy. He needs an out. And here's Paul Canerco. He's the league leader in Ribby. And he starts Canerco out. That's it foul by Canerco. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. Now coming into this game, he's got to have some confidence. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. And it's going to be DeJesus. And he gets over and grabs it to the left. Now the State Farm leaderboard, who has the power bats this month. That's a big time power hitters right here. Some guys that look to drive the ball out of the ballpark and swing hard in case they hit it. When they make contact, they can do some serious damage. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. He's the league leader in hits. Swing and a miss, and he's behind that pitch. 0-1. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes, Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. Well, this one here was no Ball. doubt about it. The late break on that slider. I mean, what a devastating pitch, and the hitter just couldn't catch up. And Quinton watches that one go by, and the count is even. This is a swing hit in the air. Oh, it's foul. Swing and a miss. Slider, two down. Oh, Gary, that's an outstanding slider. That great late action with two strikes. Not much you can do with that one. Tough one to hit. And Beckham's in the box. Career average for him, only 135 off the Royals. Swings at that fastball and misses 0 and 1. A lot of times movement will fool a hitter, but it looked like right here the velocity on that pitch was what caused him to swing and miss and be late. And it is going to be a foul ball. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. Off the wall, right center. And Damon crosses the plate. Ramirez around third, headed for the plate. And a second run comes in. So the rally here energized every new opportunity they take advantage of. Well, a big two out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. This man's doing what he has to do to help his team win. Here's Alex Rios now, RBI champs. Well, they definitely got a rhythm going right now. Each player feels. Ball hit very well, soaring into deep center field. Gone, a two-run homer. Well, a home run swing on a two-seam fastball. Good piece of hitting. Now they have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. A.J. Krasinski. Pitch on the way. And he can't run it down. And this rolls all the way to the wall. 
Take a moment to check out the top batters around the league. Our leaderboard comes to you, courtesy of State Farm. Hey, look at these hitters. They're really the guys with the most versatility. The ability to drive the ball to left field, to right field, and hit the fastball, the curveball, the slider. There's really not a pitch these guys can't hit. Runner on second and two outs. First pitch to Creedy. Good pitch as he's late on that one. 0 and 1. Career average 276 against the Royals. Swing and a miss. He's in the hole. Two strikes. Well, I tell you what, for a two seam fastball, he had some good movement and good pop on that one. Batter swung late. That's in on the hands for a ball. One and two. And Joe Creedy watches that one go by. That'll even it up. like to throw in off the plate. If it's not a strike, then you want to send a message to the hitter to back up. It allows you to open up the outer third of the plate. Now. The deep right center. It's up against the wall and about. The throw. And Pierzynski comes in. Well, anytime you hit a ball and it leaves the bat, you know you have a chance for a double. It's a great feeling, especially after such a long at bat. I think he just wore the pitcher out myself. Has to dive, but he's back in there in time. Two outs and a runner on second. Here's the delivery. Ball belted deep left center field. Way back, way back. Over the wall. Goodbye. A two-run homer. Two-run homer just adds to a terrific hitting game they've had. They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. First pitch on the way to Damon. A line drive towards short. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this happening. The night before, they really opened this thing up with three long balls. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. Quick look at Ozzie Guillen looking up. He has to be pleased with his team's performance so far today. Now Przinski sets up. Starts him up with that circle change in there. 0 and 1. Look, Gary, this big a lead here in the seventh inning. It's incumbent upon the pitcher to throw strikes. Get out right now. And Jared Washburn delivering the strike quickly up. When you can mix speeds and hit your spots, this is what you get. Nice pitch. And Kaderko getting to it. And he'll step on first for out number one. And here's Juan Pierre. Here for three thus far. One out, nobody on. Washburn set and delivered. Here's a strike at the knees on one. Okay, went out here in the seventh inning. I mean, you have to like the way this is going. They're looking good. The pitch is throwing strikes. The defense making plays. They've got a big lead. Everything feels good. Oh, tough one to lay off right there, that fastball. One and two. The one-two pitch. Swings, lines this one softly to right. And in there for a base hit. He's three for four today. And that's going to bring David DeJesus up. Well, a guy that just continues to swing the bat well in this ball game. Three hits right now so far. And it comes with one out in the inning. Can it start a rally? First count on DeJesus. Here it comes. And it's picked up. The second for one. Over the first and safe. Very close play. They will not get the double play. And Butler's in the box. He bounced out his last time. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. Well, it's getting late right now. Two outs here in the seventh inning. and no. Ground ball, Creedy. And he scoops it up. Throws on to first. Side is retired. No runs to the base hit. They leave one man on at first. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. Number 10. Gary, I think you're losing a little something here. I don't think this guy's nearly as solid defensively as the one he's replacing. So, interesting move. 
And that'll bring up Paul Canerco. Well, Alexi Ramirez's season so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. Third in batting average, third most in hits, and the power numbers there as well. He's also ranked in the top five in home runs, so among the more elite power hitters in the league. That's it, foul by Canerco. And another foul ball. Here's the delivery. Fastball is a waste pitch that time. One and two. Slider called third strike up number one. That slider started at him and broke down and in into the strike zone. Just locked up the hitter. Carlos Quinton batting now. There's one down. He homered earlier in the ball game. First pitch to Quinton. Swing and a drive. Deep left center. One bounce onto the wall. He throws. Ramirez around third. Headed for the plate. Tag is there. He is out at the plate. And he pulls into second base. That will be a double. Well, he advances the runner to third. He got it by taking that low pitch and going down with it and driving it with some solid contact. No, he made good contact on that. It's tough not to come away with the RBI, but he gets the runner moved up. And now we'll see how important that advancement is. Just missed with the fastball. 1-0. One ball, one strike. Well, you have to be ready for something hard, and this guy wasn't anticipating it. That's why he was late on that two-seam fastball. Swing and a miss, one and two. Swung on, hit sharply to first. And he will take it himself for the out. What an individual effort. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. And coming up, we'll see the Royals. Off hitter Rick Ankiel. Ground out victim last time through. Number 24, Rick Ankiel. And he starts Ankiel out. Line towards second. Beckham. One away. Let's take a look where the Kansas City Royals rank right now in the American League. Third in strikeouts, fourth in stolen bases, and an offense that's in the top 10 in triples. That ability to drive the ball into the gaps is a real asset for a club. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And he'll be tagged out along the first baseline. Shortstop, the three, Two outs and nobody on. Washburn set and delivered. There's one that's in there called strike. Uh, Gary, I think right now that... Uh, You've got to consider trading out. There's a swing and a drive. Deep right field. And it's going to be Quentin. That'll do it as they put that one away. No strikeouts, but you talk about confidence. Four pitches, three batters gone. The White Sox still ahead. That's Trey Hillman you're looking at. The thoughts of a manager. One can only speculate, but at this point, you've got to believe he's... Get some words for that next practice. And Alex Cerrillos to lead off. And that two-run homer in his last A.B. He's just on a tear right now. He's seeing the ball so well. He's driving in runs, scoring runs, hitting home runs, doing a little bit of everything to help his team win. A strike to start. There's a swing and a smash. He comes up with it easily here. Have a moment to check out the State Farm leaderboard for most extra base hits this one. It's going to be Brzezinski. Had a double his last time up. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss on a ball below the knees. Nothing in one. Well, that's a pretty good pitch right there. He got that slider in the strike zone. He got the hitter out in front to swing early. It's back towards the wall, and he still puts it away. Greedy into the batter's box. Not an RBI double his last time. Well, big production in this ball game. Already driving in a couple runs and a major factor in this offense. And that one fouled off by Creedy. Foul ball! Strike, Strike two. two. No balls, two strikes. Creedy will lean in on that zone now. 
And Joe Creedy comes up empty, a swing, no contact. Seven pitches, and it's done. That's how you save your arm and go deep into a game. We finished eight. Alex Gordon leading it off. Had an RBI single his last time to the plate. First pitch on the way to Gordon. Fastball in there for a called strike. Well, a non save situation right here in the ninth inning, and they just want to get outs right now. Try to get the first swing and a bouncer up the middle. Beckham. One away. Uh, just having some difficulty right now trying to make up this round. And, and obviously, they've got a hill still to climb. And running out of time right now, only two outs remaining, so they've got to get something going and keep it going. Swung on and a grounder to first. And he steps on first. That's the second out. Now down to their final out right here, Gary. So made it looking pretty dire at this point. And you know, but listen, funnier things have happened. They've got to get base runners though. And he takes the ball, one and zero. There's a bullet towards third. That's the last out. This ball game is now over. White Sox win this in a lopsided victory, a dominating performance, Gary. Now we award our Pepsi Clutch performer, great mound work, Jared Washington. Well, any starting pitcher will tell you that the last thing he wants to ever have to do is to turn the game over to the bullpen. They like to finish what they start, and that's exactly what he... And Steve, it seemed like they knew from the get-go they had it. This was going to be their day, and they were right. Now, you and I like the close games just because...